Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm reviewing another Texas wine because the entire month is Texas wine. The entire month of October is Texas wine month here, so I decided to celebrate it in, well, in, in style for the month. So let's take a look at the 2021 Ron Yates Wines Pick Pool Blanc. It's 15.1% alcohol by volume, and you can take a look at the Ron Yates website if you're you're interested on your own. So um, Ron Yates actually has two wineries. So he has uh, Spicewood Vineyards over in Driftwood, which is closer to Austin. And then he has Ron Yates, which is on Highway 290 in between Johnson City and Fredericksburg. So it's gonna be more going towards your Kerrville area. If you're not familiar with Texas geography, that's not gonna help. But for those of you who are visiting, you can look at a map and you can figure it out. Let's take a look at this wine. All right, so from a color standpoint, I'm gonna give you Medium lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so in terms of the nose, so I have some lemon. There's some apple. I'm gonna lean towards green apple. There's also like a, like an orange blossom note in here. A little, just a little bit of peach. This time I won't forget the nose intensity because I always leave that towards the palate intensity and put them together. Nose intensity is medium. So there is a noticeable amount of alcohol on the nose. Um, like if you're getting a French pick pool, normally they go somewhere between like 11.5 to 13.5 in terms of the alcohol. They tend to be on the lighter body. Uh, this this has a pretty, pretty strong intensity to it in terms of the alcohol note compared to some like French pick pool. Anyway, so how does it taste? Intensity, palate intensity is high. This is a very concentrated wine. Um, body is medium. Alcohol, actually, it's it smells like it's higher on the nose. The actual alcohol is really well integrated to the point where I would say it's medium. Um, it's integrated to the point of being dangerous because if, if you're not really nosing it too much and you're going more for the drinking, this could sneak up on you medium finish everything you get on the nose is there i mean it's just a pretty intense wine overall so anyway how does it rate let's get to the book and find out from a balance st standpoint i'm gonna give you a full point however though if you didn't have that palate intensity to really make sure that that alcohol was integrated or you just didn't have the alcohol being as integrated as it was i feel like it would be somewhat out of balance but because you had such a strong intensity on the palate and that alcohol was very well integrated. It didn't overwhelm anything being at 15.1. The flavors really just kind of like, just went out there and, and, and made a big party in your mouth. This sounds weird. You get a full point anyway. Length, medium finish, half a point. Intensity, medium on the nose, but pronounced on the palate. I'm gonna go ahead and round up and give you 0.75 here. And in terms of complexity, I'm gonna go ahead and give you, well, let's see, I don't expect any tertiary here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you half a point because I am getting some primary elements, uh, mostly citrus, apple, some of that stone fruit. Uh, the thing that I'm kind of missing are some of those elements that are a little bit more varietal characteristic for pick pull. Like I'm not getting much salinity to it. Uh, sometimes you can get a little bit of an herbal note with like thyme. I'm not getting that here, but this is a pretty big powerhouse of a primary wine. So even with that being said, I'm gonna give you half a point. I'm gonna go ahead and round up and give you very good. Uh, here's the deal though. This is this is a sort of specific use case kind of pick pool. This is not your, I'm just gonna sit around on the porch, have a few glasses of light wine kind of pick pool. This thing is pretty intense. Um, it has a good amount of acid. I forgot to mention that it has medium plus acid. Um, but it's, it's not like the lip stinger pick pool that you're thinking of from France. It's it's not like super high acid, kind of medium body, medium intensity. It's there to be just kind of like zingy and refreshing. This thing stands on its own. It's a solo drinker that you have to be careful. Uh, it would pair very well with food and be able to hold up its own against some decently robust food. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that about European pick pool. So it's, it is a, a bit of more of an intense version of pick pool. So if you're interested in trying it, Definitely try to stop by Yates and pick up some for yourself because it's um it's it's one that I'm gonna enjoy, but I, I'm gonna have to be careful enjoying it because at this point I may just fall asleep while I'm editing. 
Anyway, this is Mr. Wirt with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you been to the Ron Yates Winery in the Texas Hill Country? Have you had their pick pool blanc? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime.